Hello and welcome to the Futurist 3D video training series. My name is Jeff Christiana and this is a video number one of the Replicator G34 video series on how to install and download your software for your TF3D printer. Well, the first place we'll start is the website. On the website you'll see there's a tab for download. Go ahead and click on download. First thing you're going to want to install is Python 2.7 2. Um, and you need to make sure that you download it for your right versions, 32-bit or 64. If you're unsure if t which version to download, you'll want to do want to right-click on My Computer, go to Properties, and you want to look at. As soon as it comes up here, you want to look at your system type. 32-bit operating system. So if you had a 64-bit operating system you would select 64. If you have a 32 you'll select 32. So we'll go ahead and close that and we'll click on 32. 32 will basically download a zip file and it'll look like this. Now what you'll do is you'll double click on this or right click in click on install. It's a straightforward install. You hit next all the way through. It'll install to your C drive. I'll show you where that's going to go. Uh, let's see. And on the C drive you'll see Python 27. If you have older versions of Python it would be the best to uninstall them and just have the single version of Python because every time you open up Replicator G it's going to ask you which version of Python do you want to load and that gets rather annoying after a while so just keep the one copy there's nothing else you need to do <coughs> it's a very easy install next all the way through and then finish and the next thing you're going to want is replicator g0034.zip this file um, I try to keep updated every time I make a change or an improvement or an, uh, a level when Replicator G35 comes out, this is where you'll want to go. I'm going to also post in my active forum topics when the new release is out. So we want to go ahead and click on that. And what that's going to do is give you a Replicator G0034 zip file. Now what you want to do with this, you want to right click and you want to do an extract all or a 7-zip. I, I use 7-zip. It's a free zip software that you can download just do a Google search for Z 7-zip, and it's uh, it's a great uh, art. It's a great zipping program. It'll unzip pretty much anything. RARs, dot seven zip, um, pretty much anything. So you want to do is extract files, and after you extract your files, you're going to be left with a folder replicator G 0034 Get rid of both of these. <coughs> In rep inside Replicator G34, you want to open that up, and then you'll have a Replicator G executable. You want to right-click on that, drag and drop, and you're going to say Create Shortcut. You're going to be left with an icon like that. So what that will allow you to do is run Replicator G directly from your desktop without having to go into the folders. The other software here is AOI, it's Art of Illusion, that is a CAD software that is open source and you can use it to print or create anything and export it to an STL file to be opened by Replicator G and printed out. It's a very handy free software, there's, there's many other versions out there but that's the one that I use the most, most familiar with. The FTDI USB driver is no, no longer needed with the ramps. I've never had to load that or use it um, with the current ramps um, electronics. So that's about it. Um, there's uh, you know things in verse. You can go there and download some STL files of objects. It's a really great place to go once you have your 3D printer up and running. Um, if you can't think of anything to create and print, that's a great place to go and learn all about it. Um, also, if you have purchased your printer through the Futures 3D, your serial number will be listed down below. So go down here, search for your serial number, and 
here you'll see that I have put in the calibration settings for your machine. And we're going to be going over this in a later video um, about how to launch a Dorino uh, compiler, um, load the marlin.pd file, and then make this change, and then save it and ex export it to your, save it to and upload it to your RAMPS firmware, or your, your uh, electronics. So we'll cover that in another video. Um, let's see, NetFab is not available yet. We're still working with the company to work out all the bugs. We also, uh, the, ram the Replicator G34.zip, we also have it for Mac and Linux. So if you have a Mac or a Linux, you can click and download that. I, s I have all the profiles listed. Um, same as all, you know, the 0 0.15, 0 0.25, 0 0.35, 4555. All the profiles that I've built are also within the Mac and the Linux. So I've tried to keep those two updated. Um, everything else on here is just uh, other software for uh, for other machines. And at the top here, we have the TF3D Marlin firmware. When you download this, you're going to get a zip file, same as Replicator G. It's going to say TF3D Marlin.zip. Uh, zip file, you can see it down below there, tf3d-marlin.zip. You'll unzip that, and that will give you, let me get that here so you can see what it is. Now, let's see. And you'll get this folder, Adreno0023. I'll open that up. Inside that folder, you'll have your Adreno. You can drag and drop that to this, the desktop, and same as before, and you'll create a shortcut just like that. With the software, you will be able to edit your firmware, uh, make all kinds of changes, you know, do whatever kind of customization you want, and then upload it to your ramps, um, I mean, to your Adreno board. So. So that will covers that, and that we'll cover that in a later video. Uh, we'll open up Adreno, make some some edits. We'll probably just go over a few things, and also show you how to do your calibration, because that's probably the most important thing that you'll do if you find your machine has gotten out of calibration. So let's see, we cover. I think we covered pretty much everything on here. Um, this this link here is a link to all of the Mendel parts, and plus new parts that people have created for a printed 3D for a RepRap um, Mendel printer. And let's see, I think that's it. So we will go ahead and close this uh, video. Uh, next video will show how to connect your software to your TF3D printer. We'll see you then.